you're looking at the meanest and toughest 2024 Toyota RAV4 for the non-hybrid versions. This is the trail model and we're gonna review it, tell you how unique it is just ahead in this video. That's right, the trail model not only looks different, but it is different. Just taking a quick look first at the front end of this beefy SUV, you've got a little bit of a different styled front fascia. It's got a little bit of a retro off-roading style front grille with the uh, little bit of a beefier lip spoiler towards the bottom of the bumper. You've got the LED fog lights that has a very unique and distinguished housing around the fog light itself what do you guys think it's got those upgraded style um, led projector headlights with a chrome bezel and it even has its own set of unique 19 inch trail alloy wheels finishing kind of like a smoke gunmetal gray pretty cool now with a canadian msrp of forty thousand five hundred and fifty dollars plus your freight pdi fees and taxes this is one model below the top when it comes to pricing which is the limited grade at a canadian msrp of forty four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars it's a lot of vehicle, but it might make sense for you. I'm gonna to get to that in a second, why you might wanna choose the trail model. Uh, it even comes with its own set of bridge type roof rails with the crossbars here. And of course, yes, it does have a power moonroof as well. Now you'll also be happy to know that this model does come available in the army green but in front of us here, we have the white, which contrasts really nicely with these blacked out decal emblems, which actually come like this straight from the factory. This is not an accessory. What do you think of it from the back end? It does have a dual exhaust tip as well. Just adds to the overall look and feel of this off-roading overlanding SUV. Now carried on from the XL E grade, which is one model below this one, it does have the smart key system for the front doors and of course a push button start. Now we're almost getting to the point where I tell you how special this SUV is. But before I do that, let me tell you guys about the under the hood specifications. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, putting out 203 horsepower with 184 pound foot of torque. You'll be happy to know that with this model, you can tow up to 3,500 pounds, whereas the other RAV4s, you can tow only 1,499 pounds. So it's quite the increase for still keeping a RAV4. 8.4 liter per 100 kilometer combined city and highway fuel economy, which translates to about 35 miles per gallon. I'm going to tell you why this RAV4 is so special, but before I do, make sure you subscribe to the Toyota World YouTube channel. Now, of course, yes, it's the dynamic torque vectoring system that makes this RAV4 trail so unique and so special. If you're looking of, about doing any kind of off-roading, trailing, camping, overlanding, you're going to want to consider the RAV4 trail to keep you stable and keep you from getting stuck. So with this RAV4, it can actually send the torque to the rear wheels. Not only can it send the torque to the rear wheels, it can distribute the torque where you have the most traction. So if you have the most traction on the driver's side or on the passenger side, this system can send the torque, the available torque, which is 50% of the engine's torque that's available can be sent to the rear of the vehicle and then to the driver's side or the passenger side depending on which wheel has the most traction to get you out of that messy situation. How cool is that? I'm going to actually hop in the interior very shortly, but first take a quick glance at this really cool seat. It's a soft text interior. It does not unfortunately have a power passenger seat, but I'll show you the driver side in a second. What do you think of all this orange piping and stitching? Now here's some trunk space we all know and love. You'll be happy to know with the trail model, you've got a 120 volt, 100 watt AC power outlet in the rear cargo area. You've got your mats, you've got your cargo liner, 
Uh, it does also still give you the 60-40 split for functionality. Uh, it does also give you this rear privacy tunnel cover, which slides into place very easily if you ever want to store or hide anything away. And if this tunnel cover ever gets in the way, you can simply retract it and pop it out of its crevice there to get it out of the way. But love the RAV4 trunk. As promised, here's a shot of your power front driver's seat. Look at that orange detail. Going with the RAV4 trail, you're going to have to be okay with a little bit of color. And that is because there's a lot of orange contrast throughout the interior trim. So you can get these seats in the soft hex uh, black or in the gray. Now, when you're going with the black or the gray, you will always have this nice, if you want to call it that, orange piping and stitching throughout the interior and even throughout the center dash here and center console. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And this is a smart key system with a push button start. Once you start the engine, you will be greeted with a digital uh, speedometer or digital odometer, if you want to call it. It has zero to 220 here. You've got your left being your RPM gauge. You've got your right gives you your fuel capacity and also gives you your temperature control. Now, this system also allows you to control a lot of your safety equipment and standard equipment here when it comes to Toyota Safety Sense and so on. You got your blind spot monitoring system, your rear cross traffic alert, uh, a lot of different variables that you can set up in these settings on this digital display, multi-information display system. And you'll be happy to know that you've got an eight inch touch screen with your wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cloud-based navigation, and more. Now, I forget what year it was, but at one point, the trail model RAV4 came with heated and ventilated seats. But here for 2024, we do just have the heated seat function. You've got your traction control. Now, it's just the front seats that are heated, not the rear. But you do get a wireless phone charger and you do get a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. And it does come with a bunch of different driving modes. You've got your eco mode, normal, sport, mud and sand, rock and dirt. And you've got your normal, when you push this, it goes back to your normal mode, your snow mode, and your downhill assist control. Check it out here what happens on this multi-information display system. So that is your eco mode, back to normal. You've got a sport mode here. Now, when you toggle this over, that's bringing you over to your mud and sand, your rock and dirt, your snow. You can see there you got the snowflakes over to the top right and then back to normal. And actually, this model is fantastic and perfect for mud and sand. And you do get the notification here when you go over to mud and sand. Uh, the system does tell you that the VSC vehicle stability control turned off pre-collision brake system unavailable. That is only for this mud and sand driving mode. So make sure you know what you're doing when you're pressing these buttons. Now you do have one USB port here and you also have two more just in the center console and also two more in the rear of the vehicle. Well, everyone, that's all that we've got for this very unique 2024 Toyota RAV4 trail model what do you think is going to happen for 2025 is toyota going to keep such a model an off-roading adventurous model like the trail when they redesign and if they redesign the raf4 for 2025 we'll catch you in the next video guys take care